Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through the general steps for port forwarding. In my first video for setting up a Pi Note, I left out the port forwarding steps because it really depends on the type of setup of hardware that you're using. But because there's quite a few people that had an issue with this step, I'll do my best to walk you through the general steps. For majority of the users, you'll either have an all-in-one modem provided by your internet provider, or you're gonna have a wireless router, which is connected to your modem. There's gonna be a few steps that you'll require to get port forwarding completed. First, what you're gonna need is the IP address on the computer that's running the node. And then you're also gonna need the IP of your router or gateway. Next, you're gonna need to identify the model of your router or modem, and you'll have to look up the username and password. And I have some examples right over here if you know what brand of router you have. The last step that we're gonna be doing is locating where the port forwarding feature is, and that will all depend on the model of modem or router that you have. And then we'll just show you some simple steps to set up the port forwarding IP address and ports. Out of the 10 ports that we're opening, you only need three. The rest are dummy ports that will be used in the future. Now there's an excellent website that's right over here. I'll make sure I link this in the description below. And uh, what it does is it tests which ports are open and which ones are closed according to the ones that we need for this project. And you, all you have to do is click on the scan button right over here. Right now I've closed them all so you'll get the same results. And what we want to do is we want to open up the ports and I'll just switch switching over to my router and I'm going to enable the ports. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start over scan again and it should give me three of open so there we go so the three ports over here are open the latency for this is over 100 milliseconds and this server is actually based in Europe I'm in Canada so the latency is just going to be there if you're in Europe and you're testing this out it'll probably work a lot better for you uh, but this is an excellent tool that's used just to see if your ports are open and as you can see I only have three it's usually uh, one to three that are open and being used right now the rest are dummy ports that could be used later on uh, so don't be worried if you only have a couple ports open so again and this will be linked in the description below. Let me show you how to get your IP address. So I'm just going to minimize everything over here. I'm going to go to my start menu. I'm just going to type in CMD and open up my command prompt. And inside here, I'm going to be typing in IP config and then hit enter. Now you're going to get a bunch of information over here. I'm on a wired network, so I need to find my Ethernet adapter. Now you're going to have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and a bunch of adapters, but you want to identify the adapter that you're actually connecting with. And for me, it's my Ethernet adapter and my IP address is right over here. It's 192.168.1.113. So that is the IP of my computer. This could change when you restart your computer. If there's a power outage and your computer reboots, this IP address might change. And what you would want to do is if you're going to be using one computer for a node, you might want to give it a static IP and I can cover that in another step. But right now, this is just to show you how to do port forward. The gateway is the second IP address right here that's also critical. We need to connect to our router or gateway and configure port forwarding. So what we'll be doing is we'll be using this IP address next. And we want to keep note of these two IPs, one of the computer that we'll be using as a node and the other one as a gateway. So if you have the IP of your gateways or router, uh, we can go ahead and log into it. So this is the IP address that we have. And we just have to open up our browser. So let me just minimize this and go in here. I'll open up a new tab and just type in the IP address, 192.16. 68.1.1 and I'll hit enter and you'll typically get a login page. Now I have a unified gateway so I'm going to go ahead and enter in my username and password. Now for the make and model of yours you're going to want to enter in your username and password that matches it and then we're going to go on to the next step. So now that I'm logged into my unified gateway uh, for me in my settings it was located under firewall and security and then I have a section in here called port forwarding. Now for me, all I have to do is click on the port forwarding option and it brings me to this window where I'm gonna enter in the required details. Some of the common devices used are TP-Link, D-Link, and Asus. So for TP-Link, under DHCP, you'll have a section called forwarding. And if you select that, you'll be able to enter in the same information right over here. For D-Link, if you have a setup that looks similar to this, you click on advance and then you should see port forwarding over here on the left-hand side. And for Asus, if you go over to the left-hand side, click on WAN, and then you get a virtual server slash port forwarding section, and you'll end up at a very similar window. No matter where your port forwarding is located, you're going to always have to provide the exact same details in order for this to execute properly. So you're going to need the external port. You're going to need the internal port. You are need the internal IP address, and you're also going to need which protocol to use. Once you have all these details, you can enter it in, and I'll go ahead and do that right now. So the name, is just gonna be, you can call it whatever you want. I'll just call it Pi node port forwarding, that's fine. Uh, for enable rule, I'm gonna leave it on obviously. And then we want the interface, I'm just gonna leave mine as WAN. WAN is gonna be common for everybody else. The from port, uh, it could be any, I'll leave it as any right now. And then the 
port series that I'm going to be sending. So the port forwarding series is going to be 31400. And then we can just go dash because it's a series that we're doing and then 31409. So that's all 10 ports that we have right over here. And then below, we're going to be putting in the IP address. Now the forward IP address is going to be the IP that your node computer is running. So for me, it's 192.168.1.113. Yours is going to be whatever your node PC's IP address is. The forward ports that we're going to be doing is going to be the exact same. So you can just copy and paste it and enter it in. And below, we're going to be leaving the protocol as both. The options are TCP and UDP. Um, both just makes it easier. You could just leave it at that. And if you have options for logging, this is all up to you if you want to keep it. And then you can click on apply changes. So once you've applied changes, those are usually automatic. I don't think you have to reboot anything at all. It should automatically take place. Maybe just give it a few seconds for the features to be refreshed. Then you can go back over to this page where I'm going to be linking in the description below and you'll be able to scan your ports and see if they're opened. And when you click on scan, and as you can see right over here, I have three ports that are opened and uh, that's all it needs to communicate. So numbers 314.01.02 and 03 are the main ones that it's communicating on. Uh, you will notice that you won't have all these open, even though they are on your router. They're going to be used in the future. Uh, it's only using three right now, so that's all good to go. So I'm trying my best to give you a general idea of how to do it, because this does get tricky depending on the brand and the model that you're using. You might have to Google your specific router model if you're having issues to locate where port forwarding is. So Google is going to be your best friend. If you have any questions, always feel free to reach out to me. I'll try my best to answer them. I may not always have the answers, but I might be able to direct you into the right spot. So thank you for your support. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.